Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Getting a job in Australia might be easy for some, but a bit more complicated for others, depending on many factors. However, some short courses can supercharge your chances. Whether you're a student looking to gain new skills, a job seeker aiming to boost your employability, or someone just interested in personal development, these short courses can make a significant difference. Furthermore, some of them might be mandatory if you want to get a job in that field or in a specific state territory in Australia. Let's start with the RSA. RSA stands for Responsible Service of Alcohol. The training is the fundamental requirement for individuals involved in selling, serving, or supplying liquor. Completing an RSA training course offered by an approved training provider is mandatory to engage in these activities. With this training, you will be familiar with the state liquor laws and the responsible sale, service, or supply of alcohol. Also, address intoxication concerns, including helping patrons consume alcohol with appropriate limits, evaluating alcohol affected customers, and managing refusal of service. Plus, handling minors encompassing ID verification procedures and preventing secondary sale or supply to underage individuals. Also, implementing harm minimization strategies and ensuring compliance with regulations and understanding enforcement measures, and so on. It is essential to recognize that specific roles within the industry may need additional training. For those dealing with game machines, RCG training may also be required. In saying that, let's move on to the RCG. RCG stands for Responsible Conduct of Gambling. Individuals planning to work in registered clubs or hotels where their responsibilities involve gaming machines must undergo competency training in the Responsible Conduct of Gambling. Failure to provide valid evidence of completing the requisite RCG training for game machine-related roles may result in fines. RCG training equips gaming staff with essential practical skills to identify and effectively intervene when patrons exhibit signs of problematic gambling behavior. This training is pivotal in ensuring a safe and responsible gaming environment within these establishments, emphasizing the welfare of patrons and the prevention of gambling-related issues. Next. Work with children check. It is a check for many professionals in certain paid, unpaid, and voluntary work with children. It considers a person's criminal record to see if they have any previous charges or convictions that indicate they may be at risk of harm to a child. Let's move on to first aid and CPR. Another valuable short course is first aid and CPR training, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Learning how to administer first aid and perform CPR can be a lifesaver in emergencies. It's not just a valuable skill for your career, it's a skill that can make a difference in your community and personal life. Some companies consider it mandatory, and some consider it essential. So, it will depend on where you want to work and the company's requirements. Next on the list is barista training. For those who dream of crafting the perfect cup of coffee, barista training is a popular choice. With Australia's thriving café culture, this short course can open doors to a fun and rewarding career in the hospitality industry. Usually, this is not a mandatory course that companies require. However, if you do not have experience or want to enhance your skills, it might be a great chance to increase your knowledge and chances of getting a job as a barista. Then, let's talk about the white card. The white card, also recognized as the General Construction Induction Card, is a mandatory license for individuals seeking employment on construction sites in Australia. This card serves as a fundamental requirement for anyone aspiring to work within the construction industry. Next, let's discuss about the traffic control training. Traffic controller training in Australia is essential for individuals looking to work in traffic management roles. It equips them with the skills to safely direct traffic through work zones, construction sites, and events. Training covers topics like traffic management plans, effective communication, equipment operation, and safety regulations. Upon completion and certification, individuals can work as a traffic controllers with employment opportunities in construction, road maintenance, and events management. Training requirements may vary by state or territory, and certifications often need periodic renewal to stay up to date with safety standards and regulations. Apart from those I mentioned, a driver's license is a considerable differential when looking for a job. Before coming to Australia, check if your license is valid here. Also, if it is, check for how long you can use in it using a translation of the document. Each state and territory has its own rules about it. Alright guys, one thing that is important to know is, know that specific requirements for each training and certification can vary by state or territory in Australia. Some of them accept face-to-face -face completion only, and some of them accept online. 
then I encourage you to check with the relevant local authorities for the most accurate and up-to-date information. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more information and content. As always, if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching. See you next video.